Welcome to clickmyproject.com Project title PSR A lightweight proactive source routing protocol for mobile ad hoc networks Let's see the abstract of our project In this project we have to do the enhancement work of our process the, In general the users of mobile ad hoc network become increasing that results in the development of the technology. Hence, the proposed system uses an energy efficient proactive security protocol which is able to maintain more network technology information. The existing PSR performance is compared to with this PSR routing protocol. The simulation results show increasing the performance of the network when compared to the existing routing protocol. Now see the flow of our entire process. First, the network formation is done. That is, the number of mobile nodes are created as the network topology. Then, the source node generates packets to forward to the destination. Hence, it finds a route. Then, it forwards the route request packets to the next hop neighbor nodes. It is done by the EEPS or the uh, energy efficient plant source routing is uh, included. If the route is processed, uh, the energy condition is uh, verified in that. So, if it have a high energy to forward the packet, then the route is established and provides the data transmission. Or else, it again finds the another path to transfer the packet. After the data transmission, the performance is analyzed with the existing system. Now see the running procedure of our project. First, open the terminal window where to run the code. Then, go to the directory where we have the code. Now, type nx space pipeline dot tcl. Now, the number of nodes 50 nodes is created. And then, find the route, the position of uh, all nodes and the energy of all nodes is updated because we have to find the efficient uh, route based upon the energy and uh, also since it is a managed network the nodes are uh, dynamically moved to various positions so we have to find the position of all nodes this is the network animator window. Here only we can see the simulation result. Here the number of nodes that is 50 nodes are created in the network. To run the simulation, click the play button. The simulation is running now. All nodes are moved within the transmission range. All nodes are moved. And then it uh, its topology is dynamically changed. To speed up the process, this is the speed of the simulation. Then uh, at the various simulation time, the source and the destination nodes are created in the network. Now the source node and destination nodes are created. Uh, so 7 is the source node and 8 is the destination node. It transfers uh, packet that is it communicated between. So uh, the distance is uh, long between the source and the destination. Hence it uh, chooses a relay node by the routing process and then it forwards packet. All nodes are dynamically moved in the transmission range with its topology. Now, also the source and destination node is created. 0 is the source node, 1 is the destination node. 
since it is a long distance, it forwards packets to the neighbor node 3 in the root and then it forwards to the next hop neighbor nodes and then it uh, further forwards to the destination. This root is selected by the energy efficiency concept. So after the simulation sense, we can see the result in the graph which is better than the existing system, that is existing protocol. This route is find out by the root request reply SHS and also the acknowledgement is forward to the source notes. Here we can see the packet that generated by the source notes which is the destination node. So now we see the graph results back to the terminal window and type new plot file name dot plot. This is the graph for the number of nodes and their delay. Uh, in uh, x axis, the number of nodes is plotted, and in y axis, the uh, end to end delay that is, source and destination and delay is plotted. It is represented in seconds. Uh, the existing system is the PSR routine. The PSR routine have much delay, but we have reduced the delay in by using the EPSR protocol, which is represented in the green color. To see the another graph, type GME plot graph to the plot. Here, this is throughput graph. Here also, uh, the number of nodes is uh, varied, which is compared with the throughput. Throughput is measured in megabits per second. The PSR protocol have less throughput, but uh, the proposed PSR protocol have achieved higher throughput than the existing system. So the performance is increased in the proposed EEPSR protocol.